unbelievable, guys. Wari receives brutal shock as Fenster Skyamu blows on. Uncovered fresh, scandalous practice and means ex president government. So, now know what all these people they do. Make me not forget, say, Fenster Skyamu, you know, was, <laughs> was once, you know, in a president. Muhammad Buhari is a government. What they do is, when they deal with you, then they play like lawyer boy. You understand? Everything you do, yes, sir, is the perfect. You are doing well. They can't even tell, you know, their principal that, see, what you are doing is wrong. But they know all these things. These people, they are just being wicked. And sometimes I do ask these questions. Does it mean that when you tell these leaders that this you are doing is not, is, is not right, or this is not how you're supposed to do it, the person will come they hate you. It's only when you, they try to the pet things, they do, they, they you know, make it a sweet and the way you like, make it they like you, they go. But the, the sad part of it is that immediately this person step out, you will see how they go, they talk. Then go they talk how bad that person was, and this and this and this and that why in office. But when they are when they were with you, they will never identify anything. Now so then go they they praise you, they praise the government. You don't start with this. Well, make we hit the news and get the full details. But before then, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a significant development, the Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Kayamo, has cast doubt on the viability of the agreement between the former Nigerian government, led by President Muhammad Buhari, and the Ethiopian Airlines, for the Nigerian Hair Project, Kayamu addressed journalists on Monday expressing concern over certain aspects of the deal and emphasizing that the fate of the project now rests in the hands of President Bola Tinubu. One of the key issues highlighted by Kayamu is the perceived imbalance in the agreements, particularly in granting tax waivers to Ethiopian Airlines for five years. The minister raised questions about the phoenix of offering such successions to a foreign entity while local airlines continue to bear the burden of heavy tax. Kayamu stressed the potential danger of creating a monopoly in Nigerian's aviation industry, stating that fair completion is essential for bringing down price in the commercial world. A striking revelation from Kayamo was the proposal in the agreement allowing Ethiopian airlines to appoint all employees at every level in Nigeria. This move, if implemented, could have significant implications for the control and management of the aviation sector within the country. The minister expressed regret over the agreement willingness to cede such authority to foreign investors. Kayamo's statement underscores a border concern about the potential negative impact of the Nigerian air contract on the local aviation industry. The ownership structure of Nigeria, air founded in 2018, com comprises Ethiopian airlines holding a 49% stake, the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority with 46%, and the federal government with 5%. The minister acknowledged the public's apprehensions, including concerns raised by the National Assembly and various stakeholders. In response to these concerns, Kayamo stated that all details, reports, and documents related to the government have been forwarded to President Bola Tinubu for thorough consideration. The decision to, to raise the Nigerian hair project reflects a commitment to addressing public concerns 
and assuring that the agreement aligns with the best interests of Nigeria. Kayamo emphasized the need for a fair and competitive aviation sector, avoiding scenarios that might disadvantage local airlines. As the fate of Nigerian Air now awaits President Tinubu's decision, the government's willingness to revisit and potentially reverse the agreement demonstrates a responsiveness to the concerns of the Nigerian people and stakeholders. This development marks a crucial moment in the ongoing effort to shape a sustainable and equitable aviation industry in the country if they really stand in it. Well, Nigerians, avoid it now. In another news headline, President Bola Metinubo arrived at the National Assembly precisely at 11.09 a.m. on Wednesday, November 29, to present the 2024 Appropriation Bill. The present presentation is expected to take place at the temporary chamber of the House of Representatives before a joint session of the National Assembly. Present in the chamber where Senate President Godwin Okbabio harbors the Speaker of the House of Representatives and members from both chambers. Upon the President's entrance, lawmakers stood to welcome him and Vice President Kasim Shetima. Earlier in the week, the Federal Executive Council approved a proposed sum of $27 trillion for the 2024 budget, and this marks a significant step in the budgetary process, setting the stage for President Tinubu's presentation. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to share, don't forget to like. Thank you.